Suicides in Nigeria, the facts of the matter. Suicide is really a hard last act, yet is getting the support and treatment to prevent one in Nigeria possible? Stress is normal, a biological reaction to any change that requires adjustment or response. The body reacts in varying degrees to these changes, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Taking action to reduce or manage stress is very possible. With so much being out of our control, what can we do for ourselves to retain control? Now, stress becomes depression if not properly managed, and major depression actually unchecked can lead to suicide. So why do people get depressed? Loss, a death, divorce, jobs, loss of your finances, any loss can trigger, <laughs> to trigger insecurity actually can trigger it. And so what about substance abuse? The highs for the use and then the lows from the withdrawals making you cuckoo is a major source of depression in our society and many people commit suicide under the influence. And so what about Nigeria? Where are we in all of this? The WHO suicide ranking with 17.1 suicides per 100,000 population in, um, in a calendar year, Nigeria ranked 30th most prone out of 183 nations in the world today. Imagine that. You know, we all <laughs> heard recently in the social media about the suicide of a young woman supposed to board a flight just last week um, from the United States to, to Nigeria, and then she was blogging about it. She said, please check my apartment for my body if I do not board my flight to Nigeria. Um, and indeed, she had killed herself. She had written some hours before that um, in Instagram, if you really want to die, the trick is to mean it. My sisters taught me that with a smiley face emoji. And actually, she did it. I was like, wow. You know, why did she not get any treatment? Is it because of um, misconceptions? Was it um, due to the misconception or misbeliefs that a mental illness is caused by HT, um, also known as home trouble or witchcraft? Or is it cursed from our ancestors? Or is it a simply, um, simple case of hereditary or drug abuse or other non-scientific um, causes? So why do people get so fed up and want to end it all? And why are all these fail-safe systems failing them? Is it because of all the red tape access to healthcare? I mean, she was in the United States and we were talking about Nigeria and she actually did it. And there was no checks at all. Is it our shambolic health systems in Nigeria? Um, as I've obviously talked about previously with access to real medical issues and much more mental health. Why are people unwilling to seek help? Um, why are their loved ones not crying for help either? Is it fear of being stigmatized or ostracized? Why is mental health illness considered considerably underdiagnosed, underrecognized, and undertreated in Nigeria, and indeed everywhere in this world? Is suicide another global pandemic, be it a non-infectious contagion? The matter of suicide, which occurs when normal reaction to stress becomes abnormal, causing major depression, leading to hopelessness, is getting too frequent for comfort. Abba. You know, on the 2nd of um, August um, 2020, the Lagos State Police um, spokesperson, Superintendent Bala Elkana, reported that the Lagos State Police Force has successfully foiled eight suicide attempts in the state in just the past preceding months, two months. And then the Daily Trust reported that no fewer than 264 suicide cases were recorded in the country within the last um, four years. Now, the World Health Organization estimated that 9.5 suicides per 100,000 people in Nigeria kill themselves. Can you imagine? These numbers are known to be really low because they are significantly underreported for a myriad of reasons, mainly because suicide is still considered a taboo and stigma to the family. Although it's not a widely known fact, our section 327 of the Nigerian Criminal Code states that, and I quote, any person who attempts to kill himself is guilty of a misdemeanor uh, um, crime and is liable to imprisonment for one year. Can you imagine that? A carryover colonial law from, the, from Britain, why does it still remain in Nigeria even though Britain changed their, their laws in 1961? And with the incidents so high, Lagos amended its laws in 2015 to say that we should hospitalize people who have attempted to kill themselves, which makes more sense. What about our mental health facilities in Nigeria? Do they even exist? Is it Uselu in Bini or Aro in, in Abiokuta? And in what condition are they? Are there discrete private um, sector facilities where people go to? And where are they? What are, are our suicide helplines? Do we have one? We, do we have to rely on NGOs like Mani, Mentally Aware Nigerian Initiative, or is, is government responsible? I beg, make not ask me. In Canada, where I practice currently, 
Um, the government actually has a helpline called um, 811, very easy. 911 is general emergency. 811 is specific for mental health, and it's a district number when you call from anywhere in Canada, and boom, you, you get action. You get the Canadian Mountain Police with mental health um, institution coordinated and prevents lots of suicides. So where are our section codes? How can we enforce involuntary admission for a mental health facility um, when someone wants to harm themselves or harm others? When is it clear that they are not well or under the influence to impound them to their safety? Now, the increasing rate of suicide should be a major cause of concern for everyone because suicide cuts across all spectrum of societies, not based on your, your money or your age or your sex. I mean, the question can be asked if millions of people are suffering from the same um, ch um, challenges leading to depression, why do some succumb to it? Is it genetics? Is it um, substances? You know, we can go on the debate, but remember, where there is a formal inquiry, whenever you want to marry, I'm sure in your village you say, oh, is there madness in that family? That's stigmatization. My advocacy, therefore, is for the federal government of Nigeria to modernize our Mental Health Act and upscale the laws to reflect the best practices seen in the developed countries and with the combination of non-drug, such as um, counseling groups, um, therapy groups, and um, CBT, some or cognitive-based therapy, to um, involuntary or um, actually mandated um, hospital admissions to drug treatments and, and to talk to the society, removing stigma for mental health so that people can speak up, whether by seminars, public health awareness campaigns, you know, various ways we should talk about it, village chiefs calling town um, home meetings that it's not something that cannot be treated. And Nigeria finally should be a statistic as the last, where 183 over 183 is a good number instead of um, 30 over 183. Uh, so um, one well done, well done, well done. Thank you. I, I just I just wanted to point out that <clears throat> I would say that a good number of Nigerians have mental health issues, and why wouldn't you, with the kind of traffic we encounter, with all the myriads of problems we face every day? You must have you know some you know psyche moments like that. However. The other thing we have is we have a good support system. We have family, family. people that can, you know, hang it. So you find that Friends. suicide will not be as prevalent as you find in other clients because it's here, high, you know, it's still high. Yeah, not as you'd not find as in other places because you isolated. have a lot of people who check up on you. You know, you have somebody you could go to. You know, so that plays a very significant uh, role as well. However, do we have mental? Uh, mental health, health issues. Yeah. Oh, facilities are a different <laughs> issue yeah, entirely. Like but uh, uh, an average Nigerian would, I would say, we, we definitely, with the kind of matters Stress. we're going through here, would definitely have that issue. Uh, the facilities and uh, that we have available to deal with this is another discussion. I would say we're not really prepared to manage those issues. However, the support we get from family, friends, and, you know, community goes a long way, you know, to kind of suppress the, it would have been a major emergency yeah, if it wasn't for this. Or nevertheless, the talks that no, men, nevertheless, maybe. you know, you say we have support. It's the same family and friends who stigmatize at the end of the day. Exactly. So while they're there to support you before you go bunkers, be once you, you go reveal. bunkers, yes, once you go bunkers, they're the ones who are going to be pointing at, don't you know, ah, hmm. in their family, family they're, they're you know, this one has done it, should be the first, or he'll be the first in the family, and then is going to go on like that. So we also need to talk about stigmatizers. And just, just, just as you've raised in your advocacy, Rukere, we need to understand that it's not because you're perfect. That's why, uh, or you're outstanding. That's why your life is without major crisis or a major challenge that either to will run, you know, will drive some people into suicide. You know, these things happen in a twinkle of an eye, and then you're gone. So let nobody rejoice over another for having mental health issues. And if you see someone who's already, you know, at the farther end of it, tending towards suicide, it's not for you to stigmatize or backbite or, you know, all these People things. People are not ashamed Just, to say they have hypertension or diabetes. Yeah. Mental health should be the same. Is depression we can is we real. We can treat you to be cured. I will, I will, um, depression is real. Yes, yeah, we can treat I, depression. I will, I will, um, 
I will uh, weigh in on it to compare statistics. Maybe after Chuka, so that I will. Uh, my Chuka is in the so. UK. Chuka, so, Chuka, so. Chuka. There's problems in the UK with mental health. Two sides yeah. there. So yeah. maybe after Chuka, I will, exactly. Uh, if there's still time, man. The, well, I, I, I'm not an expert um, on <laughs> mental health issues. I have to admit that I'm even one of those who, maybe because of upbringing, I always thought, why would anyone get to the point of killing himself or herself? And I think it's only because, you know, one has to be more intelligent than that, that I have begun to think, okay, there's possibly, there's possibilities why, why this would happen. Otherwise, it's still very, it's, you know, I can't really get into it. I, I just, you know, it's, it's shocking to me when it happens. And I, I just can't think how to get there. So, uh, but now I understand that it's, um, it's nothing strange there and there's so many reasons and all that. Yeah, another area we are, why, that we're not looking at um, is the way we bring up children these days. Um, you find that loneliness is a big problem. All of us in Nigeria have one mental health issue or the other. <laughs> and so, by the time you bring up these children not to understand what challenges are, the first challenges, the first challenge they face, you know, they want to just end it all. You find situations where all a child's life is never known failure. Even when he failed, you, they will, they will promote him you, you manage him, you tell yes. him, you know, um, uh, he just needs to work harder. You know, he's... Um, no real you, you look for a name for it. Yeah. But he gets out in the real world and then he maybe his succeed. boss tells him, look, this is failure. This is crap. This is crap. It's ha in fact, who brought what you here? This? Yeah, how did you and then get it's like, And there's nobody to talk to. Maybe yeah. the parents are no more. And then everybody, you know, we live a societal life now where we all, you know, are locked up in our... So... All of these things, and that's why now the young girl you refer to said the sister taught her sisters taught her. Yeah. And then some of, sometimes you know you want to also learn some things. There are some things that there are no opportunity for experience. You say the best way to experience death is to die. The best way to handle a camera to to do a video is to handle a camera. At least that's experience an experience. Experience is the best teacher. Yeah. But well, in this case, now, this is too final. Yeah, this is final. So nobody tells you, you know, you that can't you repeat. can't come back. There no. is no opportunity for a repeat or narrate your experience. So, but it is good that we begin to create this awareness now because, you know, we have so many problems that we don't even bother about this one. So, but it's a big problem that is gradually, you know, creeping on us and it's staring us in the face to the extent that people are jumping into the lagoon. Or yes. jumping through Todd Why wouldn't you say so Lagos became aware. Have, hold on. How wouldn't you have a mental health issue in Nigeria? Your salary is 30,000 naira. I can only <laughs> buy a bag of rice. But no, you're not even contending with the bag of rice. You have to contend with, the, with your electricity bill. No, but they've exempted which, you from taxes now. If, oh, you're, really? if you're 30,000. Yes, with your 30,000. Uh, from oh, taxes. What yeah. about your electricity okay. tariff if you do not have the... Uh, What's that prepaid? And the prices that have gone it's up since 30, COVID. 30, 40, you just have some uh, ridiculous amount of money. Salary. That's your entire salary. I just wanted to say something that, um, just quickly, that you said, this soft children. You know in the United States again, a child went and killed his mother. You heard about it last year because he couldn't cope with these things. And so, again, managing children is not, um, is not um, sugarcoating them. It's raising them to know what is really going on in the real world so they can cope with their mental health. Now... Health, they say, is wealth. So let's make the year a mental health-free one. Chuka is next after the break.